is the federal government fulfilling its purposes the founding fathers listed six purposes for the establishment of the federal constitution government's purpose if you have not already watched my video on the purpose of government please watch that video before this one as it will provide you with a foundation for this video to summarize governments in america were created to secure and protect the rights of the people for life liberty and the pursuit of happiness governments in america were created by the people to benefit the people for the common good for the protection safety prosperity and happiness of the people the bill of rights the bill of rights also called the declaration of rights are included in every state constitution and our federal constitution the bill of rights existed in the original colonies prior to any state constitution or federal constitution being created these rights outline what the governments are supposed to protect on behalf of the people these are called enumerated rights they're specifically listed we also have rights that are not specifically listed these are called non-enumerated rights every individual in america should learn at least their own state's bill of rights also called declaration of rights and the federal bill of rights these directly relate to each of your freedoms that are secured by these constitutions all children should be taught these in our schools the state constitutions the state constitution is an agreement between we the people within that state and our elected officials for that state it is a document outlining specifically what administrative permission government was granted to perform on our behalf of the people within that state. Each state constitution is a document that limits government, not we the people. They only have permission for what is written in the constitutions. Each state constitution contains a section on the Bill of Rights or called Declaration of Rights. This section identifies rights that are retained by we the people that government is forbidden to touch. These are of our own right, not under the power of another. Those that are written are only a portion of our rights. The Bill of Rights are universal and apply to we the people in every state. The Federal Constitution the states came together and created the federal constitution to operate under limited specific purposes. The preamble of the U.S. Constitution states why the federal constitution was created. It says, We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this constitution for the united states of america the six purposes for the federal constitution are listed as to form a more perfect union establish justice ensure domestic tranquility provide for the common defense promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity taking a closer look let's look at each one of these purposes to see what was meant by each one of these statements in order to understand the original intent of a document you need to understand the meanings of the words used during that time frame the meanings of words change over time and unfortunately definitions of words have been purposely changed in some dictionaries and law books to hide the original true meanings you will see that things are nowhere close to what it should be form a more perfect union form means to set to fix to fit to shape to mold to confirm manner of arranging particulars union means the act of joining two or more things into one and thus forming a compound body or mixture or the junction or coalition of things thus united to concord agreement and conjunction of mind will affections or interest it also means states united establish justice 
The root word of justice is just, so we first need to look to see what just means. It means regular, orderly, due, suitable, exactly proportional, proper. In a moral sense, upright, honest, having principles of rectitude, or conforming exactly to the laws, and to principles of rectitude in social conduct, equitable in the distribution of justice. Justice means the virtue which consists in giving to everyone what is his due, practical conformity to the laws and to principles of rectitude in the dealings of men with each other. Honesty, integrity in commerce, equal distribution of right in expressing opinions, fair representation of facts respecting merit or demerit. Rectitude means rightness of principle or practice, uprightness of mind, exact conformity to truth or to the rules prescribed for moral conduct, either by divine or human laws. Justice Questions Does our current federal administration establish justice? Are they upright? Is there rightness of principle or practice? Is there uprightness of mind? exact conformity to truth, or conforming exactly to the laws? Is there equal distribution of right in expressing opinions? Fair representation of facts respecting merit or demerit? Or are opposing opinions censored and facts hidden? Ensure domestic tranquility. Ensure means to make sure, which means certain, unfailing, infallible, or secured, which means effectually guarded or protected, to contract or covenant for consideration to secure a person against loss, or to engage to indemnify another for the loss of any specified property. Domestic means pertaining to a nation considered as a family or to one's own country. Tranquility means quietness, a calm state, freedom from disturbance or agitation. Tranquility Questions Over the last two years, did the current federal administration make certain that people were secured against loss? Are they providing tranquility by providing a calm state? Freedom from disturbance or agitation? Or have they promoted fear, shut down businesses, and pushed unconstitutional mandates on all Americans? Provide for the common defense. Provide means to procure beforehand, to get, collect, or make ready for future use, to prepare, to furnish, to supply. Common means belonging equally to more than one or to many indefinitely, belonging to the public, having no separate owner. Defense means anything that opposes attack, violence, danger, or injury. Anything that secures the person, the rights, or the possessions of men. Fortification, guard, protection, security, prohibition, resistance, opposition. Defense questions. Has the current federal administration furnished or supplied for the defense of our borders? Did they provide defense for anything that might bring violence, danger, or injury to an American? Did they provide fortification or protection and security for our borders, or did they open up our borders and let whoever and whatever come across, putting all Americans in danger? Promote the general welfare. Promote means to forward, to advance, to contribute to growth. Enlargement or excellence of anything valuable. To exalt, to elevate, to raise. General means the whole, the total, that which comprehends all or the chief part. Welfare means exemption from misfortune, sickness, calamity, or evil, the enjoyment of health and the common blessings of life, prosperity, happiness. Welfare questions. Does the current federal administration promote America? Or did they open up our borders and are trying to get us under a new world order? Have they protected us from sickness, calamity, or evil? 
or has all of this been unleashed upon all Americans? Do we have the enjoyment of health and the common blessings of life, prosperity, and happiness under the current administration? Or are Americans experiencing loss of life, loss of prosperity, and loss of mental well-being? Secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Secure means to guard effectually from danger, to make safe, to make certain, to put beyond hazard. Liberty means freedom from restraint in a general sense and applicable to the body or to the will or mind. The body is at liberty when not confined. The will or mind is at liberty when not checked or controlled. Natural liberty consists in the power of acting as one thinks fit without any restraint or control except from the laws of nature. It is a state of exemption from the control of others and from positive laws and the institutions of social life. This liberty is abridged by the establishment of government. Civil liberty is the liberty of men in a state of society or natural liberty, so far only abridged and restrained as is necessary and expedient for the safety and interest of the society, state, or nation. A restraint of natural liberty, not necessary or expedient for the public, is tyranny or oppression. Civil liberty is an exemption from the arbitrary will of others which exemption is secured by established laws, which restrain every man from injuring or controlling another. Posterity means descendants, children, children's children, succeeding generations. Liberty questions. Has the current administration provided and secured for our blessings of life, prosperity, and happiness these last two years? Have they guarded us against danger and hazard? Have they secured our private rights to make sure they were not breached? Or have Americans experienced restrictions, loss of life, loss of health, fear, financial loss, and anxiety? In closing, elected officials in our federal government pledge an oath to uphold our Constitution, which lists these purposes. The President, Vice President, and their Cabinet, and all elected federal congressmen, are bound by contract through their oath of office to secure and fulfill these six purposes. If they have failed to fulfill any one of their purposes, then they have breached their contract with we the people. Breach of contract means failure without legal excuse to perform any promise which forms the whole or part of a contract. James Madison said, Justice is the end of government. It is the end of civil society. It ever has been and ever will be pursued until it will be obtained or until liberty be lost in the pursuit. Thank you for watching. Please click the like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you.